Good morning, friends. Thanks for joining me today. For those of you who I saw earlier when you came and picked up your imagination station bag, I am so happy I got to see you. Um, have fun with those things in that bag and use your imagination to create something amazing, something that you love. And remember to take a picture of it and send it to us so that we can all see it and we can share it with each other. Parents, we love you. If you did not get a bag, then you can email us at childrensgarden at unitydenver.org um, and we can find a time to connect up so that you can get one of those bags. Um, again, we love you. We're here to support you. So let us know if you need anything. Kids, friends, how was your week? How was your Father's Day? Did you do something special with your dad or your father figure? And how was it this week, I wonder, with your acts of kindness? So I can't wait to hear about it. I know I had fun with both of those things, celebrating my father figures and also doing acts of kindness. So I hope you did too. We are in June still, and the power of June, remember, is... That's right, imagination. So we're gonna use our imagination right now. And we are going to start with we're going to do a big belly breath today, okay? So sit up and let your spine grow really tall. And for a belly breath, we're going to take a big deep breath in, breathing in as much as we can from our belly, from deep inside of us. And as we do that, our belly is going to expand. It's going to get bigger. So you can use your imagination to picture maybe a balloon inside of your stomach. And as you breathe in, that balloon fills up. So let's see how full you can get your balloon. Ready? Take a deep breath in. And let it out. Great job. Let's do that one more time, okay? You can put your hands on your stomach. You could feel your stomach that way too. Ready? Breathe in. Filling up your balloon. Get it bigger and bigger and breathe out letting all that air go just relaxing wonderful and you can use that one anytime sitting up laying down whenever you want let's rub our hands together oh do you feel that heat guess what you're creating you got it energy okay now we're gonna take all that energy and just wiggle it next to our head next to our ears tapping on our head going down to our shoulders and tapping on our shoulders across our collarbone and just putting our hands on our heart taking another big deep breath in hmm. so we just open our heart connecting our mind and our heart using our imagination to picture a light inside of us and seeing that light getting bigger and bigger, the brightest light you could imagine, maybe brighter than any light you've ever seen with your eyes. Picture it filling your whole body from your head all the way down your shoulders, down your arms, to your legs, all the way down to your toes. And then imagine that light going into the room, filling the whole room that you're in, and then going out into your neighborhood, into your neighbor's houses, into the whole state, and just picture that light going into the whole country, and then getting bigger and bigger and bigger across all the oceans, and see your light just encircling the whole world, getting brighter and brighter as it spreads. And so we use our imagination to just hold the world in that love. And together, on the count of three, let's say, thank you, God. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you, God. Amen. Wonderful. So 
We have been talking about imagination this past month. Um, today, we're gonna talk a little bit about feelings. So sometimes it can be hard to figure out exactly how you're feeling. Um, I picture feelings like an iceberg. So let's pretend this is an iceberg. The feelings up here are usually sad or happy. Those are the feelings you can see. And if this is the water, there's all this stuff underneath the iceberg, right? Underneath the surface. Some of those feelings could be confused, maybe excited or hungry, but there's all these feelings that in order to figure out how we're feeling, we get to go below the surface of that iceberg. So there are a couple ways that we can do this. Let's take a look. So one way to notice how we're feeling is to pay attention to our face. A lot of times when we're feeling different things, our face might look different. Like if we're feeling really happy, we might have a big smile on our face. Or if we're feeling mad, we might be going, Rrr. so maybe you want to get a mirror and take a look in the mirror to see and notice what your face looks like. If you want to pause the video right now to go get a mirror before we do this, then go ahead and do that. So are you ready? Do you have your mirror to take a look and see what our face might look like? I made this feelings journal, which is something that you could do at home. And on this page, it has the feeling and an example of what our face might look like when we're feeling that. And on this side, it has what is in our toolbox that we could do with that feeling. So this page is happy. What does your face look like when you're happy? My face looks like this. I'm so happy. And in our toolbox, when we're happy, we could do a dance party. We could also show gratitude. Maybe we want to write down three things that we're grateful for, or maybe write a note to somebody that we're grateful for. We could also do a craft. Let's see what the next one is. So now these are the emotions that are, remember, underneath the surface. Look, excited. Wow, look at how excited those faces are. What's your excited face? Mine is like, I'm so excited. And in our toolbox, when we're excited, we could have some outside time. We could also plan a fun event. Um, maybe you wanna plan a party for your family or plan a, a Zoom meeting with your friends and have a theme, that would be fun. You could also do some exercise. Um, get outside and take a run, or maybe you wanna ride your bike. That's what I do when I'm excited. Silly, oh, look at those silly faces. Oh my goodness. What does your silly face look like? Mine is like, so silly, yeah. Look at, in our toolbox, we could be silly and laugh. Laughing is really fun when you're silly. You could also tell jokes or make funny faces either in the mirror or maybe to someone. Maybe you and a mom or a dad want to make silly faces back and forth. That would be fun. You could also act like an animal. So act something out when you're silly. The next one is surprised. What's your surprised face? Mine is, oh, so in my toolbox, you know, surprised is interesting because some people really like being surprised and other people don't really like being surprised so much. So before you decide what to do, you could take a sacred breath. You could write or draw about it. Another thing you could do when you're surprised is count. You could count either forwards from one to 10 or maybe backwards. What about when you're feeling helpful? Ooh, look, she looks like she's helping the earth. When I look like I'm feeling helpful, a lot of times I'm like, oh, I feel like I want to do something helpful. Do you? What does your helpful face look like? So in our toolbox, when we feel helpful, we could write a letter or draw a picture for a helper in the world. We could also do an, a random act of kindness or if we're feeling really helpful, an awesome thing to do is to clean. Maybe clean your bedroom or even the bathroom or the kitchen. That would be very helpful, I bet. Or volunteer. Those are all very helpful things. 
Let's see. Ooh, centered. What does your centered face look like? When I'm centered, mine is like, I feel so centered. And in our toolbox, when we're feeling centered, we can listen to God and meditate. We could talk to God and pray. We could also maybe do some yoga poses, maybe your animal yoga pose. Um, another thing to do to get centered would be to use sand, maybe from your Zen garden or in a sandbox. What's next? Curious. Hmm. This is my curious face. Hmm. What's yours? Hmm. What's in our toolbox, I wonder? I'm curious. You can ask questions or do some research, maybe in a book or online. You can also question your thinking when you're curious. What am I thinking and why am I thinking that? Hmm, I wonder if that's really what I want to think. You could also do some experiments, like maybe a science experiment. All right, so the next one is sad. So these ones are kind of some big feelings. Feeling sad is a big feeling. And remember, that's the tip of our iceberg. So when we're sad, what would your face look like? Mine would be like, oh, I'm sad. Mm -hmm. But in our toolbox, when we're feeling really sad, we can drink water. That's always a really helpful thing to do. Um, and do a sacred breath. We could also talk it out. Talk to a safe adult. Maybe your parents or an aunt or an adult friend who's a safe person. You could also write or draw about it. And sometimes when we're feeling really, really sad, we just need to cry. And that's okay. He looks like he might be crying. What is next? Hungry. Oh, when I feel hungry. What does your hungry face look like? Mine is like, I'm so hungry. In our toolbox, when we're hungry, we could help set the table. Ooh, that would probably help hurry up maybe your meal. Um, drink water. That's always, and again, always drinking water. You could help make a meal, or you can always ask for a snack when you're hungry. That would be a good thing to do. <gasps> look what's next. Mad. Ooh, those people look very mad. Let's make a mad face. What does your mad face look like? When I'm mad, I'm like, whoa, I'm so mad. <laughs> In our toolbox when we're mad though, because it's important to use our toolbox, remember? We could do a truth tense. So squeeze and then count and then let go and relax. Remember our truth tense. If you're feeling really, really mad and almost so mad you feel like maybe screaming, you could scream into a pillow. Or you can use your calming jar if you maybe have one of those, you know, the jars with glitter that you can turn up and down. Um, another thing that you could do when you're feeling really, really mad is make a fist. Make two fists and maybe you won't feel like stomping. Maybe you need to stomp your feet when you're really mad. So those are really good tools for when you're mad. Let's see what's next. <gasps> scared. What's your scared face? <gasps> I'm so scared. In our toolbox when we're scared, you can always go to your safe place. Maybe that is in your room. Um, or if you're not at home and you need to go to a safe place, you can get really quiet and still and close your eyes, get really centered. And then you can go to your happy place. Imagine your favorite place. Look, that's what's next. You could also, when you're feeling scared, hug a special friend or a pillow and just squeeze onto that friend or pillow. I wonder what's the next one. Confused. Have you ever felt confused? I have. My confused face is like, huh, hmm, hmm, uh, I don't know. In our toolbox, when we're feeling confused, we can get really still and connect. Listen to that God voice within ourselves. Ask lots of questions. When you're feeling confused, it's very important to ask questions and talk about it with a safe adult or maybe a friend. You could also write or draw about it. You could maybe write a story about what you're confused about and how that turns out. Let's see the next one. Ooh, worried. I'm like, uh, I'm worried. Ooh, what does your worried face look like? Eek. In our toolbox, we can always listen to calming music. 
When we're worried, another thing you could do if you don't have music is to think of the lyrics to a song that you just love. You could also turn your thoughts from negative to positive. Like if you're worried about maybe something that's going to happen later or worried about a game that you're going to play, turn that stinking thinking into an affirmation and think positive. Another thing you can do is take some worry time and you can write about it. Write about your worries. Make a list. What's next? Ooh, tired. Look, those people all look very tired. What do you look like when you're tired? I'm, I look like <sighs> maybe rubbing your eyes. In our toolbox when we're tired, if we need to get energized, we could sing a song. Um, we could do some stretches, like when you're waking up, if you're feeling kind of tired, then maybe you want to do some, some big stretches and stretch out your muscles. We could also do some sacred breaths. If you're having a hard time falling asleep, do some sacred breathing. If you're tired, sometimes it's really important to just sleep. And I, when I'm tired and I'm having a hard time falling asleep, I say affirmations. I say, I am a well-rested person. I get all the rest I need, and I know everything I need to know when I need to know it. And I just keep repeating those until I fall asleep. All right, the last one it looks like. Oh, our last one is lonely. Have you ever felt lonely? I know I have, and it can be easy to feel lonely, especially when maybe you haven't seen your friends for a while um, and you're really missing them. So what does your lonely face look like? Mine it looks like hmm, lonely. So what could we do with that? In our toolbox, we can imagine the people that we love. We could close our eyes and imagine them giving us a great big hug. We could also play with a pet. Um, we could write a letter to a special friend or a helper in the world, somebody that we love. Another thing that's really good to do when you're lonely is to hug a special friend or a pillow. So I made this and in between them, I left a couple of pages that are white that you can just journal on. So again, looking in the mirror and noticing our face is a really good way to find out how we're feeling and maybe name those feelings. Another thing that you could do is you could make a feelings poster board. I made this one and it has the face that it might look like and then it has the feeling. So those are all the feelings that we just talked about and some things that you can do. Um, maybe you wanna take a clothespin and write each person's name of your family on it and each day put it next to the feeling that you're feeling and you can move it throughout the day. So that would be another fun thing to do. So thank you for joining me today. Um, again, I am sending you all lots of love and just practice this week working on naming your feelings um, beyond sad and mad. Really dig down under that surface to find out if you're feeling confused or excited, nervous. So practice that and again practice your um, big belly breaths this week too to just that helps when you're maybe feeling like you don't know how you're feeling. Helps to just get centered and take those big breaths, okay? So let's end in a giant air hug. We're gonna rub our hands together, feeling all that heat, feeling all that love, all those emotions. And remember that all of those are okay to feel. Even if they're not the best feeling, even if they feel kind of sad or mad or confused, those are all okay feelings. What's important is that you get in your toolbox. So take your right hand and put it on your left shoulder. Take your left hand and put it on your right shoulder and just give yourself a big squeeze, feeling whatever you're feeling, knowing that that's okay. And we're just gonna send out our love and this hug to each other and the world on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Sending you lots of love. Have a great day.